It's a very, very different to be the president, and particularly to be the president at this Southern black women's school yes. that's used to doing things a certain way, uh, a good way, I'm, I'm guessing, but those, those may not be your ways. Uh, what, what kind of challenges did you meet mm. and face and win? Well, because you know the South, you will know that one of the first challenges that I confronted at Spelman was stonewalling. Mm. You know, Southern folk, and I want to say particularly Southern black folk, really don't like conflict. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, and I'm really using huge stereotypes, you know, I'm coming from a northern school, I'm coming from Hunter, mm -hmm. I'm coming from New York City, where, you know, a lot of it is in your face. That's right. You know, and you want to fight about this mm -hmm. theory? I'll take you on about this mm -hmm. theory. And you want to have this change in the administration? I'll tell you why it's wrong. Mm. Not at Spelman. Mm. Very, you know, let's not have any conflict here. Let's just, and so I'm raising ideas. I'm suggesting things. And I'm just getting, I'm not getting resistance mm. in the sense of taking me on. Right. I'm just getting, let's just avoid this. Mm. They don't want to engage. Let's not engage mm. in this. And so, in many ways, I had to, I had to reconnect with my southerness. Mm -hmm. I had not lived in the South since that one year at Fisk, 1953 to 54. And so I really took some counsel there with myself, and I started reading about and thinking about what is the nature of being Southern. Mm. And once I reconnected with a good deal of that, I'm not saying it solved the problem, but it helped me to administer far better. Secondly, I really think that my own openness um, was useful. It, it, it made me accessible. It diffused some of the sense of, here comes the president, which is somewhat assumed to be the proper stance within our HBCUs. Oh, yes. And it made, um, it made for an early, I hope I'm not overstating this, it made for a kind of early affection um, that I admit I took full advantage of. It was so clear with the students. I mean, the love affair that I had with my young sisters, I think is, is to rarely be matched. A faculty ain't the same thing. Well, I was just thinking that the students naturally would be happy to see you. Change for them is four years. And so whatever you do can't be very upsetting or threatening to them, and you're a welcoming person, but the faculty they That's have a, a longer name. view than Absolutely. four years. Absolutely. And the administrators. And some very peculiar things happened as a result of Spellman's history and mine coming into the same place. For example, this may be my best example, in fact. I remember saying to colleagues from around the country, you know, I am surprised, to tell you the truth, shocked by how little faculty governance there is at Spelman. There must be more faculty governance. And people are saying, Johnetta, now wait a minute. Do you know what you're asking for? You've got a situation of, in quotes, power and authority, and you're asking to share this? And the answer for me was yes. Because my long-term view of that school and of the academy is it without genuine faculty governance, not over-exercised, not exploited, mm -hmm. but appropriately engaged in is essential for the health and the success of a college or a university. So who becomes the major proponent of faculty governance? Mm -hmm. The president. But what else did you find 
lacking at Spelman or missing at Spelman that you had expected to find from your experience at other mm -hmm. institutions? What was the norm elsewhere that wasn't the norm at mm -hmm. Spelman? At the risk of reducing things to, to simplistic lines, there wasn't as much intellectual fervor, as mm -hmm. much intellectual agitation, as much intellectual life mm -hmm. as I had been used to. And this is not to say that, that all professors were just sort of taking the, you know, the easy road and not really raising questions and moving to, to points of, of, of real change in terms of their thoughts, but it did grab me as being pretty, as a pretty quiet place intellectually. I'd like to think that I was able to stir that pot a little bit. 